Hey everyone, in this example we'd like to try to find the slant height of this cone here. So the slant height is just what it looks like. It's the length of the segment that connects the vertex of the cone down to the circle, the base, circle base, at any point. That's called L. And just by looking at this we can see that there's a right triangle. This six centimeters is the height of the cone. Three centimeters is the radius of the base circle. And so just by using the Pythagorean theorem we can compute this slant height. So the Pythagorean theorem says what? It says that 3 squared plus 6 squared has to equal L squared. And if we want to solve for L, we just take the square root. We add everything up, right? So L squared is equal to the square root of 3 squared plus 6 squared. And you can take a 3 squared out of all of this, come right out of the root and become a 3. And what you're left with is 1 plus 2 squared. So that's 5. So this becomes 3 root 5. And if you don't trust what I just did in my mental math, uh, make sure that you work it out. And by the way, I wrote L squared here, but then I took the square root, so that's L. So the slant height, the slant length or slant height here is 3 times root 5. So make sure you believe that. Work that out yourself, but 3 root 5. Okay, um, by the way, root 5 is bigger than 2, so it's definitely longer than 6, right? 3 root 5 is a larger number than 6. So, which makes sense, right? It has to be. So now, um, what do we do? Well, we want to find the surface area. The surface area of a cone is, you can think of, so what's it going to be? It's going to be the base, the, the area of the base. So the base area comes from the circle. So the base area then is um, pi r squared, right? So pi r squared. And then if we want to try to find the area of the rest of this, if you were to cut... These, I'm drawing scissors here. Really bad, really bad scissors. So those are scissors. If you were to cut along any line here, any slant line, then unroll this thing, what shape would it make? Well, it would make it would make a sector, right? A sector of a circle. And we know that this length is R, this length is L, all right? And so it turns out that this becomes this is equal to, so the area of the face, I'm just going to call it the face, this is always equal to pi times r times l. So pi r l. Okay, so let's work this out then. The total surface area then has to be the sum of these two, right? So it's going to be pi r squared plus pi times r times l. We can factor out a pi times r from each of these. So it's pi r uh, times the sum, in parentheses, of r plus l. r is 3, right? r is equal to 3. And l is equal to, to 3 root 5. So this becomes 3 pi times 3 plus 3 root 5. And again, we can factor out another 3 if we want. And this can be written as 9 pi times 1 plus root 5. And this is in centimeters squared. So there's the surface area. This should have been centimeters up here, right? There's the surface area of the cone whose base radius is 3 and height is 6 centimeters.